AI is everywhere now, isn't it? Except, well, except in Intune. Microsoft have already released Microsoft 365 Copilot, and they're talking about Microsoft Security Copilot, but it doesn't really help us with the Intune conversation, and I've not heard too much about that yet. And so it's up to the community to make this right. And when I say community, I mean Yannick. Yannick is a solution architect in AI Ops, or AI IT operations, and guess what? He's made an Intune AI troubleshooter. Let's jump in. From his website, you need you get everything you need to get started. It really, really is simple. Let's scroll down. It explains what it is, what it can do, but we'll jump through to how you do this. What you need, firstly, is uh, to click Deploy to Azure, right? So if we click Deploy to Azure, it will deploy all the infrastructure that we need to get started. In order to deploy the Azure OpenAI infrastructure, though, you need to have registered with Azure OpenAI and been accepted because it's not a free entry. Well, it's free, but it's not free at all. You need to pass the checks to get in. So let's click on Deploy to Azure. And here we can choose, well, normal stuff like the resource group. I'm going to call it Intune AI. And choose OK. We need to choose a site. This is the, the site name that we'll be using for the web service. So we're going to call that Intune AI. And we'll call this uh, Intune OpenAI. Because this is the AI app service that we use. Choose, review, and create. And it will go ahead and create us the infrastructure that we need to get everything set up. While that's taking place, we need to set up an app registration so that our website can log in when we ask it to. Let's go ahead and do that. We will go to Home, Azure Active Directory, down to App Registrations, New Registration. I'm going to call it Intune AI, Single Tenant, with the redirect URI of Get Modern, nope, Intune AI dot azurewebsites.net slash login slash callback and it's a single web page cool oh we need a HTTPS there all right good so we'll choose register and in keys uh, well in API permissions we need to do a little bit of permissioning to get this working so I'm going to go ahead and add the permissions we need but they're all in Yannick's blog when you need them okay so we've added those and we'll go with uh, grant admin consent for get modern and choose yes okay good next thing we need to do is grab this application client ID and put it in, in a document so we can save it for later done that next we need to see how far this is getting on and we haven't yet done the OpenAI service oh yes we have so let's go and open up Azure OpenAI and we should see we have this Intune OpenAI that I've just created we're going to go in and grab the key one right here. Put that in your document as well. Okay, now we have these two. It's time to set up the web app. Let's hope that it's all finished creating. I assume it will have in a few seconds. So we'll go to the home and we'll go to app service because it's a website that we're going to be editing. And there is our, oh, it's done. Perfect. Good timing. We'll choose OpenAI. Go down to configuration. And app ID. Great. So we'll grab that from the notes document that I've just been using. Put that in there. And then the next one is key one that we need. So I'll choose OK. Scroll down to OpenAI key. And there's key one. Choose OK, choose Save, Continue. All right, we are getting very far through this right now. Let's take a look at what we do next. Essentially, we need to restart this app service in order for those settings to take effect. So I'm going to choose Restart and then Yes. Give that a few seconds and then the testing. Choose the link to my website. Let this website spin up for a few seconds because it's brand new and I've just restarted it so anything could be happening right now. And after just a few seconds that's working. 
the moment of truth, we need to see if we can log in. Let's choose log in and automatically log me straight in to my tenant. Well, okay, that set up and everything seems to be working. That is awesome. Now I bet you want to see what it can do, right? I've just released that video over on my other channel. Take a look.